So today we're going to be talking about a multiplication lesson using the method of touch map for third graders. So this falls under the Ohio Common Core Standard um, for multiplying one digit numbers um, by a multiple of 10. And so we're going to assume that the students have been learning the touch math, touch math procedure um, and they'll have their own laminated touch math lines. Every math class will begin, in order to reinforce the skills that we, they do in touch math, they'll go over the, um, the touch points on their number line so they can refresh and review the skills and where the touch points are and like what has doubles and everything along those lines. So to begin a lesson on multiplication, they need to review their skills in skip counting. So just setting up a couple of basic skip counting and you can go through different numbers, but you should start with the smallest of two, because um, one would be your one, two, three, four, five, your standard number line. Start skip counting with two and then you would do three and four, but then another big one is five. Um, so here we've got just the number lines and this should be set up previous to your kids coming into the classroom so that you're ready to go and no time is wasted in transitioning and writing things up on the board. So they would go over the basics of 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So then the next thing that they'll need to review is what is multiplication? Um, because they'll know that the numbers are increasing but their knowledge base pertains to addition. So in order to move them up to multiplication, relate it to their background knowledge on addition. So six times three, and show the two different formats um, because the different situations that you put the problems into tend to lead to confusion if it's not clarified that it means the same thing. So six times three horizontally, or six times three vertically, is equal to six plus six plus six. So it's one number added to itself this amount of times. So in order to incorporate your touch math, first start out with basic multiplication uh, in using just a single digit times a single digit. And what they'll do is they'll take the bottom number and they'll skip count by that number on the top number. So for example, six times two. So on the six, there are, two, there are three double touch points. So in, in normal counting, it would be one, two, three, four, five, six. But since we're doing skip counting for multiplication, you take the two and you count 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Then your students would write down their answer, 12. So then to bring in the common core standard of multiplying in base 10 a single digit times something um, by a multiple of 10, have a simple question, something, start out with not doing regrouping. Um, because that incorporates the boxes on top and all the addition and that tends to lead to confusion. Uh, so just start out with the basics of non-regrouping multiplication problems. So here we have 20 times 4. And so teach them to set up their problem where they divide it into columns of tens and ones. And start out, tell them to start from the right where the arrow is. So they would start in the ones place. So they're skip counting by four onto the zero. Now the zero does not have a touch point because it does not have, um, it does not have a number value. So they would, they, and they would have been taught the properties of the fact that um, any number times zero is zero. Now moving on, now they take this same bottom number and they skip count this number onto the tenths place. So then we've got four, Eight. So 20 times 4 equals 80. So this lesson, the materials that you need, you need a dry erase board and a, um, and a dry erase marker, just the, the standard basis. You can also use a chalkboard. And there are various technologies that you can incorporate. You could use Mimeo, you could use PowerPoint, you could use Camtasia. Um, dry erase tends to work better because it's more visible um, and it's a lot easier to work with and it's a lot easier to manipulate. You also need your touch math teacher manual. Now, whenever you're incorporating um, the foundational lesson, for example, beginning multiplication using touch math, you should always flag your areas in the different pages of your manual that you're gonna be using. So between your manual, your dry erase board, have the problems previously prepared so that you're not fumbling up at the board and wasting time and valuable learning time trying to come up with a problem that fits the type of 
um, if it's the type of multiple that you're trying to use. So, and then they need their individual uh, number lines. So the basic, the, the basic premise for the lesson, brief review and discussion on skip counting. The discussion is a key point. Um, so you need to ask the students open-ended questions like, what is skip counting? Uh, give me an example, I mean, then you use the discussion to fill in the gaps in their knowledge. Everyone brings out their touch math number line, they go through their numbers, and that's when you begin this process of the lesson. Um, the exit ticket and homework shouldn't have too many problems on it. And also, after you do the foundational lesson, you should do the GROR model, the Gradual Release of Responsibility, so you show them how to do it, do it together as a class in discussion, then put them into pairs and give them three to five problems for them to work on in um, a couple of the basic math with single digit to single digit and then the multiple of 10. <coughs> and then after that, so, and then they're in their pairs, they work together, they collaborate. You as a teacher should be circulating around the classroom in order to catch any mistakes and any misconceptions. Then for their homework, they shouldn't be loaded down with too many problems. So give them two basic multiplication and three with a multiple of 10. And then you have your academic language of skip counting, multiplication, touch math, which is your program. And you can briefly touch on as an anticipatory set for your, for your next lesson, the term regrouping and what it means and how you're gonna apply it in a later lesson. So that is the basis of your touch math multiplication lesson for grade three.